The display is split into two tiers. On the top tier, the process for primary production is shown and on the bottom, recycled aluminium. The first step in creating primary aluminium requires bauxite rock to be mined. This bauxite rock is then taken and refined into alumina sand. The alumina sand is then taken and is smelted. Smelting is particularly energy intensive and is shown by this plasma ball. The smelting process will create an aluminium ingot. Once it is cooled, it can be rolled into aluminium sheet. The aluminium sheet is then taken to a stamper where it can be stamped into automotive body parts to create a car. However, this process is particularly energy intensive as shown by the red balloon. If we now look at the process for recycled aluminium, we first need to collect scrap. The mixed metal scrap needs to be sorted by taking out the steel. The remaining pure aluminium can then be melted. The aluminium is melted down into another ingot. Again, once the ingot has cooled, we can roll it into aluminium sheet Take the sheet to an automotive stamper and create another vehicle. However, this time we've used a lot less energy, shown by the green balloon. In fact, we've used 95% less energy, which is why it's so important to recycle all sources of aluminium.